This is a podcast from the Business Times. Good evening. It's Tuesday, September 10th, 2024. Here's your market focus daily closing bell update. For the Business Times, I'm Emily Liu. Asian markets mostly rebounded today. Hong Kong's Hang Seng rose 0.2%, China's CSI 300 rose 0.1%, Australia's ASX 200 rose 0.3%, India's Nifty 50 rose 0.5%, and Singapore's SDI rose 0.6%. However, Japan's Nikkei fell for a sixth straight day, down 0.2%. Korea's Kospi also fell 0.5%. It's the first trading day for Malaysian mini market chain 99 Speedmart after the company completed Malaysia's largest IPO since 2017. Shares of the company rose nearly 14% over its IPO price, with more than 400 million shares changing hands. Founded by entrepreneur Lee Tiamwa in 1987, 99 Speedmart plans to expand its network to 3,000 outlets by end 2025. With the IPO, Lee now has an estimated net worth of around 3.3 billion US dollars, making him Malaysia's newest billionaire. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company TSMC reported a 33% increase in revenue for August, with sales reaching 250 billion Taiwan dollars. More than half of the company's revenue now comes from high-performance computing, a business segment driven by AI demand. The results come as market concerns about the sustainability of AI recently shaved off some 279 billion US dollars in Nvidia's market cap. That's it for today. For more business news and market updates, visit bt.sg. This is a podcast by The Business Times. Find more BT podcasts at businesstimes.com.sg slash podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. This podcast is meant to provide general information only. SPH Media accepts no liability for loss arising from any reliance on the podcast or use of third parties' products and services. Please consult professional advisors for independent advice.